Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the tools that I use and the technology that I wanted to learn in this year. So the first tool that I use is called Eraser.io. So I use this one to document and plan for my project. So for example, right here, I use this one to create the table, a relationship and visualize my application. And also you can use this one to create a sequence diagram, the flow chart, and on the canvas side, you can draw anything, add image and also in the document side you can write this one in a markdown so i use this one a lot and also i can share this one with everyone and including you guys as well the second tool that i use is called real times color so this tool allow me to visualize the color and font on a real side they have two templates dash dashboard and blog post so i can choose different color different background and so to visualize what it's going to look like on the real side whether i like it or not so it's a great tool for me that to use to visualize this kind of things so the third tool that i use is editor so the main editor that i use is vs code i really like it and enjoy using it i i've been using it almost like five years already and i i think i once tried the neo Wim as well i think because of my vs code what at one point has become very slow and it's very lagging when i'm typing it's due to the project is very big and also my computer is kind of slow so i switched to neo Wim to set up the neo Wim. but overall i still like to code on vs code it's just it's the best for me so the last tool that i use is ChatGPT. i do not use the pro version i use the free one it's great and answer all my questions and mostly i use this one for my coding problem and also i use this one to generate the dummy data and yeah so it's it's great so right now let's talk about the technologies that i wanted to learn but before we doing that so i'm going to talk about technology that i used before so the technology that i used before like the stack that i use i use superbase uh, next.js uh, chat cns a uh, tailwind so this combination is, is great for me and i deploy this one to a cell everything's great i build a lot of project with this one i really enjoy using these stacks a lot but in this year i wanted to try and learn something new so the first one is i wanted to learn swell so i wanted to try different frameworks so swell is one of my radar uh, my targets i wanted to learn it very long time i tried it before but not like deep dive or i never build a project with it so the goal is i'm going to try swell and build a couple of projects with it one or two maybe connected with superbase and deploy yeah so let me know in the comments so is for any i project idea with swell that you wanted to see so I will do that. So the second technology that I wanted to learn is writing tests. So previously, I not really enjoy writing tests at all. So most of my application do not have tests. So the test that I wanted to write is the end-to-end -end test. So there's two technology that we can use this one. So the first one is going to be Playwright, and the third one, uh, the second one is going to be Cypress. So I'm, I'm, I don't know which one is the best. So let me know in the comment if you use these two technology before. So I used to try Cypress before and it's for very small cases. I do not like any big project or like a medium project, even like a full fledged project. I never actually use it before. So this year I'm going to try to do it. So the third one is going to try HTMX. I see a lot of hypes and a lot of trends, people moving away from frameworks to use the HTMX. And, but the HTMX alone is just a template. So we need to go with the server side. side. So for that, I'm thinking about learning Go. So I want it to complete fresh and I want to add Go to my resume as well. So I have absolutely no experience with Go. So it's kind of excited when to learn this kind of technology. And a lot of people talk about it. And a lot of my friend, even uh, every day, he sends uh, something that anti-reacts and mainly moving to uh, HTMX. So yeah, so I wanted to give it a try, but maybe not like a die hard into this kind of things, but just try to explore and have fun with it. So the last one that I want to learn is to deploy my Next.js outside of cell. So Vercel is great for testing ideas and I even use it for my production as well. It's great, but I wanted to try to learn something 
uh, else besides with cell. So for example, I have my stacks Next.js and Superbase. So both will be deployed. One is going to be on with cell. So one is on Superbase server. So I think both of this technology can be deployed and cell host on our own. So I wanted to learn how to deploy both of this one inside, let's say a VPS, like because both of this one can be cell host. So we can host it together inside one single VPS and pay for one times only. I don't have to pay for Vercel and I don't have to pay for Superbase uh, uh, difference. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm not sure as well, but so far I've deployed uh, this two separately. It's okay for me. It's great. Uh, it's fast and it's quicker, but yeah, I think it would be nice to have different options to deploy your application and yeah so i think that pretty much it's all this is uh, all the technologies and tool that i using and that i wanted to learn in this year as well so let me know in the comment is there any tools that you use every day and is there any technology that you are planning to learn in this year so drop it down in the comments so that's it for me see you in the next video